It is my honor and privilege to welcome you to this groundbreaking ceremony here at Douglas School, the new home for a community museum preserving the legacy of Douglas School and also the future home of the Central Administration Office. Um, it, this is just truly transformative. The restoration of the historic Douglas School has been a goal, a dream, a vision, for this school board and for Winchester Public Schools for decades. The list of barriers blocking our path was so long, I would venture to say most other divisions would have given up some time ago. On behalf of the board, I'd like to thank each of you for your fight, for being a part of a historic and profound restoration, one that holds stories in its hallways and classrooms and fields. Stories that deserve to be heard learned from and shared with all generations who are blessed to call Winchester their home. As I think back on the history of this building, it did not come without a struggle of black parents, local church leaders, doctors, lawyers, Winchester businessmen, both white and black, and petitioning the school board for a better school facility for the colored children of Winchester. We thank all who had a part in bringing this building back to life with a new purpose. Dear old Douglas, may you continue to stand tall and proud and serve Winchester forever. I was here three days before the doors finally closed and we often wondered where the kids would go uh, because this was their home away from home. Um, this is something that this community has waited for for a long, long time. Many people don't know that within these walls, it allowed students of color to be surrounded by educators that looked like them and peers that understood the hardships of being black in an age of social and political inequality. The alumni would share, first and foremost, the teachers. They, they couldn't wait to talk about their teachers and the principal and the high, high expectations that were put on the students. Those graduates became doctors and lawyers, military generals, CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, university professors, and so much more and they have a story to tell. And it is our job to memorialize that, to preserve it and declare it to this community over and over and over again. As we renovate, we will remember. As we renovate, we will memorialize. As we renovate, we will proclaim the Douglas story with pride, celebration, and an intentional outreach to our children so that Winchester never forgets. This building will come alive again. It will still be part of the Winchester school system and that there will be life in this building again. Because for us at Douglas, it was full of life. You have my word as superintendent that we will do this justice, that we will do this right. Um, that we are proud to be a part of this story and come alongside you. And I wanna thank you. <laughs>